Kate, at last. Here to enjoy the show. The War Department wanted me close to the action. Can't get closer than this unless I grab boots and a rifle. Mm, wouldn't go with the skirt. <laughs> what do they say so far? Joe, you've been brilliant. Talk of the town in D.C., apparently. Uh, Miss Garner, I, I must tell you that I object formally to your being here. I'm sorry you feel that way, but you're not the commanding officer here, are you? It's okay, Campbell. Uh, whatever happened to that famous British sense of hospitality, huh? She's a distraction. Sure. A distraction that helped guarantee that Joe here would be in charge of the operation? And let's not forget, if it wasn't for her, we'd be collecting dust in Italy. Right. Fine. Well, let's get back to the briefing session then, shall we? Mm -hmm. As I was explaining before your... <laughs> interruption, General Weatherby is under pressure at Carentan. The Jerrys have brought in their own paras. What about the reports that the Germans are getting mechanized units as reinforcements? Very unlikely. General Weatherby, under duress, and... ...tends to overstate the danger he's in. And that's the only reason you refuse his requests for support? Not at all. In fact, young lady, in order for mechanized troops to arrive now, they would have had to receive orders before we were sighted. Before the landing. Sir, we have enemy vehicles approaching Chef Dupont. Now that we have an airstrip, we can send a recon plane. Your orders, General? Air recon has a major advantage over ground recon. Its line of sight isn't hampered by obstacles. artillery they'll wipe out the town Joe you need to get some fighter bombers up there ASAP to intercept them Enemy fighters incoming. You need to send our fighters up. I'm so glad you put us at ease about the enemy reinforcements, Campbell. Head to the new position, man. Squad commander, target unit at following coordinates. He's gonna get it in the neck. Yes, sir. Ordering unit to destination. Enemy on Receiving report. Our units are under fire. Your objective is to take Valogne. It's the last stop before Cherbourg. What am I up against? The survivors of the 919th. They pull together grenadiers, anti-tank reinforcements, and anti-aircraft units into a Kampfgruppe to hold the city outskirts. What's the situation inland? The same setup as around Valogne, but of lesser strength. And here, along the coast? Another Kampfgruppe, primarily armor. Enemy air support? According to our sources, none. I wouldn't be so sure. The crowds have hidden their planes on small airstrips and fields. Where they have been hammered by our bombers for weeks. The resistance has confirmed that. Right. Like when they confirmed the absence of the 17th SS, Campbell? Listen, you little... Why? You have nothing to say. General, it's your decision. But be aware that the enemy may have more than you think. 
Our main objective is to take out the German base. My reports show that the enemy still has a fair number of tanks. I'd say we'll need air support to counter that. Head to the new position, man. The key to controlling the skies is to use each plane for what it does best. Sheridan, you could rely on fighter bombers a bit more to neutralize enemy tanks. Building in progress, sir. My command, fire. Engineers are en route to the building site. Jerry has a number of AA batteries. We'll have to destroy them if we want any sort of air presence. Sir, fighter bombers incoming. Stukas. Amazing for an army that had no more planes, eh, Campbell? Listen here. Our intelligence services were categorically clear on this one. They're an easy scapegoat. Some intel officer you are, supporting the invasion of Europe with outdated and inaccurate reports. The Germans have placed a recon aircraft over the area, sir. Bad news, huh? Our troops can't hide as long as that's up there. I'm making a attempt for behind the What the hell out there? Approaching combat. Enemy on the two. Maneuver on five. Target acquired. Ready as she goes. Oh, we can't afford that, sir. The unit is critically low on fuel and ammo. Returning to base. We have a German ground attack incoming, General. Diving brake in shape. Yes, Dropping sir. airmen. Unit, unit reports damage, sir. Keep it up, police. Don't slow down now. APC, be shot right at you. Commander, you have your orders. Destroy 
Germans have secondary HQs. If we take them, we can build up starting from those positions. Scouts have brought tank destroyers up to the line. Damn nation. Don't let them make contact with your armor, Joe. General, the Germans are launching an offensive along the coast. Sir, engineers report that they can now set up secondary HQs wherever you want them. They're like regular HQs for gathering supplies or constructing buildings, but they're much less resistant. Open fire on designated target. Enemy on the coil. Head to the new position, position, man. Receiving report. Our units are under fire. Enemy on the two. Maneuver on five. Building deployment completed. The Germans have some armored recon, sir. Careful of those, Sheridan. They're no match for a tank, but very dangerous for infantry, even in a forest. Reporting enemy losses. Reporting. Unit under sustained fire. 
We have to destroy Jerry's heavy fortification. Remember Italy, Sheridan. Enough bombers against the secret bunker will wipe it off the map. Excellent, General. The pilots send their thanks.
Joe, we could get troops close to their HQ without being seen by moving them through the swamps. are training, they'll be ready soon. I'm afraid we're lacking the resources for that, sir. Reporting. Unit under sustained fire. Unit 
Your progress is amazing, General. Keep moving like that. Excellent. The road is open to take Valon. Reporting the case heading losses, sir. Congratulations, General. Valonia has been liberated. <laughs>